A critical factor for control with the Ritchie brace is conformity of the malleoli and placement of the hinges properly. This is determined in the casting process. The cast must accurately capture the true anatomy of the patient's ankle anatomy and lower heel anatomy and lower leg anatomy. When we get a brace that doesn't fit the malleoli properly, either too narrow or too wide, the problem usually originated in the casting process. The lab will make the width of the malleoli and place the hinge axis exactly where that cast is. But the cast and the casting process does have opportunity for error, which I will show you here. The plaster casting has the risk of either overexpanding or being too narrow, particularly like this cast where the practitioner took the plaster cast off the foot too soon. And now the upper part of the cast is flimsy, allowing three centimeters of excursion either in or out. And the lab has no idea where the true width of this patient's ankle bones truly are. This plaster cast was done properly. It has solidified, it's stable, the anatomy is captured accurately. A better option is the STS sock because it has little room for error when we take the cast off the patient's foot, which might overexpand when using plaster of Paris. The best option of all though is using our new digital casting system, which allows accurate capture of the anatomy and greatly reduces the chance of error in distorting that cast and sending the data to the lab.